Raquel in the move grab? I'd assume so. Again, we know the Penguins, the Bruins, and the Goal Knights are in on him. So maybe maybe the, maybe the the those teams are the teams that will save this trade deadline. I mean, the Rangers made a couple of pretty huge moves with Mott and and Cop. So that's going to be two good acquisitions. Uh, we don't know the we don't actually know the details for Cop yet. From Jeff Merrick and Frank Cirelli, the Ducks are trading Ricard Raquel to the Pens. It happened. The jersey came through. The jersey came through. The Ducks are acquiring Raquel. Or the Ducks are trading Raquel to the Penguins. We have a trade. Oh, my now. goodness. That is what we needed. That is what we needed. Giving us some life at this trade deadline. The Penguins get their middle six forward. And it goes from Ricard Raquel. Wow. There we go. Finally something. Finally something. Appreciate you, Pittsburgh. I appreciate you. Ricard Raquel will go to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Huge trade there. And that is the top four, top six forward we knew that they wanted to have. Ricard Raquel goes to Pittsburgh. $3.7 million cap bit UFA this year. Great, great overall skills, good hands, good finishing ability. He's a player that with the Penguins, I think, could do some really big things. He's going to be a solid player, though. I could just, I could probably see them maybe even playing him as high as the second line. Uh, he has some good versatility, though. I like that addition for the Pens. I thought they needed somebody top six-wise on that team. They get Ricard Raquel. I'd assume some salary retention is there. But right now, they got Gensel, Crosby, Rodriguez, then Heinen, Malkin, Rust. You could easily see him replacing Heinen on that second line left wing. I could easily see that. So... That's some good addition for the Penguins. That's a big trade for them to make. You love to see that. So also from uh, Pierre Lebrun, the, uh, the Penguins will trade for Ricard Raquel in exchange for a prospect and a pick. So we get some more interesting tidbits on what the Penguins will give up. Uh, and also Chris Johnson saying is headed to the Pens for a prospect and second round pick. So the Penguins, I would assume maybe it's, a, maybe it's, Samuel, maybe it's Samuel Poulin, potentially. Uh, I'd have to think about that. Actually, let me let me check. Let me check. Because I feel like for the Penguins, they don't have a lot of top quality um, top quality prospects. Samuel Poulin could be an interesting one, though. Twenty one years playing in the uh, playing in both the AHL and QMJHL over the past couple of seasons. He's an interesting one. Hasn't panned out exactly how you'd expect, but I'd expect it would be Poulin. So yeah, we don't know who the prospect will be yet in the Ricard Raquel deal, but that is the biggest trade so far leaked after the deadline closes. Uh, we also got confirmation that the Blues did not make any more trades, so Nick Letty is their one acquisition. Uh, by the way, Kotkaniemi's eight-year deal coming at officially $4.82 million, like we expected. But yeah, Ricard Raquel going to Pittsburgh. That's a great addition for them. I love that for them. That second line is going to be much better, especially in the playoffs. And it seems like, from what we can tell, it won't be that huge of a um, of a of a haul going back to Anaheim per se. But that's what I was kind of expecting. I was expecting a second rounder and a prospect for Raquel, and the Penguins are the team to get that type of offer to the table for Anaheim. We saw a lot of rumors with Ricard Raquel today about the Rangers checking in and being close, then the Bruins and the Golden Knights, and then the Penguins swoop all the way in and make a trade happen.